This is São Paulo, Brazil's biggest and richest city. It has a population of 12 million and generates more than 10% of the country's GDP. Despite the wealth, millions here still live below minimum standards, according to a recent official survey. For those living here in the São Paulo Garden neighborhood, the infrastructure is poor and homes are precarious. Last year, this family managed to turn its wooden shack into a brick house, but it was not enough to keep summer rain from getting into the home. When the water comes in, it brings garbage, stones, even a snake I found here. It's a desperate situation. Suzette Vieira is fortunate to have walls and a roof over her head even if the house remains poorly equipped and only half finished. Where can we go? This is the only place we have to live and we need to stay here. Working all day, then returning home and not having decent housing has severe effects on people's lives. There are health issues, problems for family life, and people don't get proper rest to go back to work the next day. About one quarter of Sao Paulo's population is living in poor housing conditions, according to the country's statistics bureau. That's significantly better than other parts of Brazil. Numbers show that almost 40% of the urban population is subject to low living standards. Roughly the same amount are considered to be in an average situation, and fewer than 24% are considered to be in good or very good condition. Almost 85% of Brazil's population live in cities. These urban areas grew exponentially during the 20th century, keeping pace with the rise of industrialism in Brazil, the problem is that most of this growth took place with very little urban planning. First, the people come and build their, own, their homes and homes that are improved over time, over 30 years of a family lifetime. And then afterwards, the infrastructure comes. So we are talking about a exposed urbanization, an urbanization that comes decades after the people are there. The problems facing Brazilian cities have grown over the years, so there's no expectation of a quick solution, no matter how urgent the issue. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.